Hello friends, thanks for joining me. This is Beatrice with Craft with Beatrice. Today we are planning for this week in my Hobonichi Techo. This is my everyday carry. Um, this is a half year cousin. So it's basically the same as the cousin except it's split into two books. <clears throat> I just want to show you the month. Actually we're still in October and I'm planning for the week of the 28th through the I believe that's the third um I think there's something missing here let's see where is my calendar Okay, the monthly goal session is on the 29th for my for the Moxie Life Club Goal Session. Right session, and I think it's at six. I want to write that in there because when I don't write it in, I forget. And let's see, we need some pink because that is one of my personal things and so let's get started so let me just show you this past week oh that's November this is the week that today is currently the 27th um, I went ahead and filled in my trackers there's a couple days that I didn't wear my watch so it did not pick up my sleep on Friday and well we haven't slept yet because today's Sunday so and I have yet to see any of these things um so let's see let's take this out of my coach very beautiful oh this is like amazing i got this on from the outlet online and it is absolutely beautiful it is leather so um if you are uh, don't like leather don't come at me I just couldn't resist the price or how beautiful and how nice it feels. It's like that glove leather. All right, so I'm using this uh, washi for my stash. Um, and I think I'm going to use some of this because I've noticed that the past few weeks, as you can tell, this week I did try to use it. I don't really use it, but I do like having this little homework assignment square. So... What I'm going to do is we're going to bring that back this week and I'm probably going to use this on the bottom half because I don't do anything from midnight on, you know, I'm sleeping, <laughs> hopefully sleeping, right? So what we're going to do is start with that. And I don't really use a lot of washi. If you look back, I have you basically switch between having it this way and all right well that's an off week and that was in august or doing the the little assignment box for school and i really tend to use it so i think we're gonna go that's why i want to go back to that so that actually works pretty good and what we're gonna do because um Tomo River paper tends to tear if you're not careful with um, like sticking stuff and removing it. You got to be very careful with it. So I don't want, I want to make sure that I don't tear my paper. So we're going to just go ahead, add this onto this side. So I love having a pretty planner. I don't love a lot of stuff on it though, if that makes sense. I don't know how I'm gonna love this because it's kind of big <laughs> and a little on the busy side. So we're going to have to see how that works out for me. It is pretty though. And I think instead of using this one, I am going to use this one that's in the box. Um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to come up here 
um, and leave me one, two, probably right there. I don't really start planning anything until after nine anyway, so um, usually at this time where this tape is, it's I'm doing like my morning routine and you know, getting the dogs going and getting myself going. So the top part of this, I plan on using for my top three things that must get done, right? And that works for me. I normally, and I can feel the, the lump of the, of the tape right there. So that works for me. I'm going to use my um, Muji in an 05 to draw my lines. And I kind of went a little over. So let me see if I can fix that because uh, I'm kind of a neat freak, anal retentive, and <laughs> it's gonna bother me that I am over the line. And of course, Oh, here it goes. I could have find my little craft knife, which is very sharp. So I want to make sure I don't cut through my paper. Let's see. Because I have done that in the past. But it cuts really well. And I believe this little craft knife, I'm probably got off of Timu. So I am just cleaning up my lines. There we go. There we go. So that I can create, and usually I think I did it at 21. All right, so we're gonna go up here, down, And then across. And did I do actual 21? Yes, 21 and 22. And this is where I'm going to add my um, header. And it's very lumpy, so <laughs> it is definitely making it not easy getting across. I probably should use my beautiful um, pencil board. Little mice, they're so cute. It'll probably make it a lot easier. And let's see what else. So let's get planning. I don't do a lot of color on the actual pages. Um, it's mostly pen and the reason why is because when I do a little too much, I don't go back to it and I want to be able to use my, my planner, right? This is my everyday carry. I need it to be something that I'm interested in using. I'm going to use this Tombow, um, marker and it is number 933 which i believe will work yes perfectly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here match them up so that i can do my little headers for my trackers and I love tracking and I love seeing um, my stats, especially my sleep stats, because sleeping is something that I do not take lightly. I need my eight hours of sleep. I'm going to peel this up a little and see if I can get my page. The thing with Tombo, Tombo River paper is you kind of have to, you can't be too taut with the with the tape 
if not your page is going to roll up which to me is super annoying but it's the thinness of the paper all right so monday we have hang on one second there is something different that i'd rather use for this that's a little smaller right here okay it just makes it a little easier. Monday, I leave for school around 10.30. 12, 1, 2, 3. And I get back around 12.45. Yeah, I still have not gotten used to the time on this. It drives me bananas. And then math class, and I'm just going to do it right there, is from 12 to 1.45. 45 and then the rest of the time I am in the math lab Tuesday I don't have any class Wednesday I will probably be in school about 11 to 6 7 8 45 long day so this is the time that I'm in school I'm in class from 12 to 1.45. And then again from 2, 3, 4, 45. And then again from 6 to 8.45. Okay, I like that, having the bold, because I'm not going to be home, so I can't really plan anything in between there. And then Thursday, I will not be going to class because it's Halloween, and I want to go trick-or-treating with my grandson. So, let me write this in. Then, let's see from our calendar, we have 6 p.m., so let's see, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, from 6 to 8, it's goals, so I actually have little stickers that I was just organizing and now of course I am not going to find what I'm looking for because everything is all over the place. Oh, here we go. So we're going to use some stickers today because I have them and I want to get back into the habit of using them because you know it's money I spent. So we're going to put Club Moxie there and then we're going to put Club Moxie at 12. on Saturday now here we're going to add my orange marker that I have lost oh here you go all right we're gonna use the orange for the header here And we are going to do homework. Perfect. Now, on this day, I do have a midterm for this class. And... think that is pretty much it I mean I have homework that is due but I don't really need to um, you know it's nothing that's out of the ordinary 
Like, it's not a project or anything. It's just regular homework. Um, I am... This is Halloween. And for Halloween, I would like to use a cute little sticker that I know is somewhere. Oh, here they go. These are stickers that I bought last year from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. And I really love these little um, ghosts. And because it is trick-or-treating, I want to use one of these. These are smaller, so they actually fit a little better. I love this one. And I think I'm just going to put him down here. And we're going to do... How about the one walking the dog? I'm going to put him somewhere in the middle because I'll be at my daughter's house. So nothing's getting done that day. And on November 1st, it is Dia de los Muertos. And it is a Mexican tradition. But a lot of Hispanics have also, and other people have taken it into, as part of their um tradition making traditions and i do have this beautiful book by um happy planner that's literally every holiday and i know that there is dia de los muertos stickers um and i think i don't have a lot of space but i think i'm gonna use the marigolds and maybe a caravela a caravela is the skull because I will still probably be at my daughter's house. I love the, um, oh, they have stickers. They have uh, labels too. Very cute. I love the uh, altar. So I am going to use the one marigold. And I'm going to bring the marigold up here. And I am going to do la caravela, the skull, as well, like right there. And I like that the colors kind of match. It works. And this Dia de los Muertos is a little on the big side, but we're going to see if we can make it work. Yeah, I think that'll work. And let's see what they have for Halloween in here. Kind of big, kind of big. But maybe we'll do the, maybe we'll bring this guy up a bit. See, JoJo's pretty paper shop. It does not have removable paper. So it is ripping my paper. So we're not lifting it. <laughs> Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little spider right there, as if he's hanging off of there. And I was going to put the Happy Halloween, but he's not going to work. So instead, we will do some of these little thingies, because there's nothing smaller for Halloween. They're just huge. Yeah, they're too big. Unless we take this happy Halloween, maybe do it that way. That'll work. Nothing's going on that day. So it's okay if we do some... Um, decorating. Actually, I don't know if I've already stuck this down too much, but I think I wanted to move it down. Let's see. It's coming up slowly, but it's coming. I guess because I just put it down. Yeah. And I'm going to put it down here. Just because I know that I won't be definitely doing anything at that time. 
maybe we'll add a little bit of these little okay that's good enough so not overly decorated I'm all right with that I hope <laughs> And then we're gonna use my orange marker. And we're just gonna do my top three, which fit perfectly with the time allotted here. one important thing that I forgot to add in here is December daily is from let's see 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 from 10 to 8 so I'm gonna write December daily prep day And I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing like a doctor appointment or something. I'm going to have to check my email. Uh, yeah, November 19th. Let's put that in here so I don't forget. Um, telehealth. At... 10.30. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> That's important. All right, let's see what else. One thing I forgot to do, I like to make this bottom look like torn edges, and I did not do that. So we're going to go back and tear up the edges a bit and not my favorite look because i normally would not have the line but that's okay and i like using a light gray to go around my edge and give it that slight um what am I trying to say like if it has a um shadow that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> and not bad and then i like taking my marker and just going although i suck at making straight lines and just kind of going every other All right. Oh, let's, I'm going to speed you up. I'm going to go ahead and put in my trackers and we'll come back and we'll wrap this up.
right, we are done. This is what the week looks like for me. I will add in homework during the week. I have this week's homework down here. And I will also add the meals that I will be making this week. Probably up here somewhere because I, no, well, maybe I could do it down here, like on the 23. Um, I won't be cooking this day because I won't be home and probably won't be cooking on Friday either. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, I hope you will consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day.